going to be looking at another US MRE today. This is actually going to be menu number 19, Beef Patty Jalapeno Pepper Jack. We're going to be opening this one today with my good old trusty Spider Co Tenacious. There's our entree right on top. You can see it's a tiny little entree. This is just a patty by itself. Beef jalapeno in there. And the 341st day of 2015. That's going to come with a twin pack wheat snack bread. 180 calories for two pieces. In a twin pack, each one of the individual pieces are thinner than a regular wheat snack bread. I guess you're supposed to use this as a bun to make like a burger. And I'm all about making a jalapeno beef burger, so we'll be trying that out. We got an accessory pack. Hey, we'll open that up in just a second. Spoon. Cheese spread with bacon. All right, so we're going to have a jalapeno bacon cheeseburger that's gonna be awesome looks like we're looking at 180 total calories on that and 150 of that are from fat pack of original skittles i'm not a big skittles fan but i do like regular skittles more than i like the berry or the sour ones usually that's 250 calories tropical punch beverage base powder natural and artificial 130 calories on that one nut raisin mix 310 calories because they don't salt these this is one of my least favorite items in an mre i mean it's an okay little snack but it'd be so much better with some salt on on. Got a hot beverage bag, an FRH that we will not be using. Here's the sleeve for the main. It has quite the ingredients list there. Jalapeno pepper jack flavor, caramel color added. On our main there, it's actually only a three ounce patty. That's very small for a main entree. And that's 160 calories. And as you can see right next to it, this is also the sleeve for the cherry blueberry cobbler, which I've actually never had and I'm very excited to try out. That will be 150 calories. That has quite the long list of ingredients on it as well. And so since we just looked at that, this will be our cherry blueberry cobbler. Let's see what we have in our accessory pack right quick. It doesn't just say A, it says A-K-M, so maybe there's a little bit of different stuff in here. You gotta have your TP, salt, non-dairy creamer, moist towelette, coffee instant type three, sugar, a pack of mustard. This will be for our burger. There's the ingredients on that, nice and short. And we got a ketchup packet that has quite a bit more stuff in it, including corn syrup. Got some matches and cinnamon gum. This ended up being quite a decent spread of stuff. Even though the main is three ounces, I think we'll get plenty full consuming the rest of this meal. I ended up heating up the patty, the wheat snack bread and the cobbler. Let's get right into it and start making our drink. We got our beverage based powder tropical punch here. No fruit juice, even though it's both natural and artificial flavor. There's that luminous red powder as always. It's kicking up a pretty good dust cloud. Of all the beverage based powders, I think the tropical punch stirs up the worst. All right, let's check this patty out, see what it's looking like. There it is in the pack. Let's take a smell of that right fast. Definitely smells of jalapenos. It doesn't smell particularly spicy, but you can smell the pepper flavor is predominant in this. Right on top, you can see a red pepper flake on there. Get this out onto our tray. There's a fair amount of liquid in there with it. There's not really much to it as far as size goes, but maybe it'll pack a wallop of flavor to make up for it. Let's take a look at these Skittles right fast. Those look like they're in pretty good shape. There's a couple of them where the shells are splitting a little bit, but nothing too serious. Check out our nut raisin mix as well. It actually picked up quite a bit of heat from my cobbler sitting on it. Looks like we do have some hazelnuts in this one. Last time I didn't have any. That actually smells pretty good as far as nuts go. And they did put a desiccant pack in there, so don't eat that. I'm really excited to see what this cobbler's looking like. Got a purple look to it. See, it's got some nice blueberries in there and some cherry pieces. I don't really see much of the cobbler. It's mostly just juice. It does smell pretty good though. It smells like canned blueberries. What do you expect? Basically a pie filling is what this is, pretty much. It's pretty thick. It's probably thickened with cornstarch. Even though we pulled it out, there's still quite a bit in the bag, so we're gonna scrape this out real fast. And we made a little bit of a mess with our spoon, so let's try some of our teepee right quick. These are the individual sheets. While we're cleaning up, let's go ahead and look at our moist toilet too. My hands are all sticky now. It's still nice and moist. It's got some little soapy suds on it. Now we're all refreshed and ready to go on with the review. Let's check out these Wheat Snack Breads Dual Pack. You see how thin the individual ones are when you get the dual pack? That's perfect for making a bun though. If you are going to try to make buns out of the regular ones, it would just be so thick and dense it'd be hard to eat. Those smell pretty good, like they're still nice and fresh. Not bleachy or old in the least. I'm going to pull off a little bit of this top piece. And I'm going to want to try a little bit of this by itself right fast. That's about as good as you're going to get with a Wheat Snack Bread. They're certainly not the best thing, but they're not the worst thing either. And let's check out our cheese spread with bacon. There's some oils running out of it. Put a little bit on our spoon. We'll try this by itself. It doesn't really look any different from regular cheese bread. It certainly tastes different though. It might be a little saltier than a regular cheese bread. It has a very smoky bacon bit type flavor to it, which is not bad. I actually kind of like it. We'll try a little bit of this on our little remaining piece of wheat snack bread. See what those two taste like together. It looks pretty good. You can see a little bit of different coloration in it. Maybe some little flakes of what are essentially bacon bits. If you can't get jalapeno cheese bread, that's definitely a strong number two. I like that quite a bit. I want to try just a little piece of this beef patty by itself before we start doing things to it. 
it. Here's a nice close look at it. Let's see what the inside looks like. Looks fairly decent. It's got some nice little heat to it, but definitely not overly hot. Anybody could probably get away with eating that without too much trouble. There's not really much to describe with it. It tastes as you would expect. It's a beef patty with jalapeno flavor in it. That's exactly what it tastes like. They say a jalapeno jack, which I don't get any cheesiness from it. It just tastes like ground beef and jalapeno. It doesn't need any salt or anything. It's pretty salty. It's held up well. There's no funniness to it. It's actually pretty good. Our drink has a bit of a film on the top of it. The Tropical Punch is about the only drink that films up like this. I should sip of this right past. And that tastes just like it always does. Super artificial, but not really in a bad way. It's probably not good for you, but it doesn't taste terrible. Let's taste a little bit of our nut raisin mix. We'll get a couple peanuts, get one of these hazelnuts, raisin, almond, and a walnut. I'll do these in the mix together, see how that is. Nice and crunchy, not at all stale or rancid tasting, not old in any way. If they were roasted and salted, they'd be a thousand times better. But we got a nice big hazelnut here. Let's try this one by itself. That's definitely good. It's got a nice hazelnut flavor to it. However, same thing, if it was roasted and salted, I think it would be way better than it actually is right now. Try a couple of these Skittles, make sure they held up well. We got a red and a yellow there, which are my two favorite Skittle flavors if I had to pick two. Those taste just as fresh as the day you would have bought them at a store. But let's get to constructing this burger. I like mustard on my burger, but I'm not a big ketchup person. For the purposes of the review, I will try both. We got our little mustard pack here. We'll taste just a little bit of this by itself to make sure it's all okay. And you can see the juice is kind of separated from it first. I probably shouldn't have needed it like we would normally do. Give that a little try. Tastes like nice yellow ballpark type mustard. I'm not a huge mustard eater, but I do like it on hot dogs and hamburgers when I have them. That's about the only thing I'll eat it on. And that's perfectly fine. Ketchup is probably my least favorite condiment. I'd much rather have hot sauce in general, but we'll try this one out too. See how it is. There's a look at our ketchup there. A little bit tangy, a little bit sweet. It doesn't have any flavor of being aged in any kind of way. It's perfectly fine. All right, let's make us a burger. So we'll take our bottom wheat snack bread. We'll put a little bit of mustard on it. I'll follow that up with a little bit of ketchup. And we'll put some cheese spread on that. And I'm actually going to repeat that same process on the top one. A lot of times I'll see people throw together a Emery burger and they just put all the condiments on one side and then what happens when they eat it, it just squishes out. Now it's probably going to squish out anyway just because there's so much liquid mass compared to like bread mass, but this will help a little bit. So we'll put a little bit of ketchup on there, a little bit of mustard, and we'll put a little bit of our cheese spread as well. Instead of just smooshing it all together, I'm actually going to spread this out just a little bit. There's one of our buns. And there's our other bun with all of our condiments on it. And we will place our patty on this. Fairly decent fit there. It's actually getting some weight to it now. And we'll put our top bun on there. And there it is. That's about the closest to a hamburger you're going to get from MRE. The condiments are squishing out a little bit, but not as bad as I have seen them do in the past. Let's go ahead and give that a good taste. Before I start talking, I need one more bite of that. All those flavors really mesh together very well. The bacon is being outshone by everything else. You can taste the mustard through everything else. You can definitely taste that jalapeno flavor and a little bit of spiciness coming through. Ketchup just kind of blends in, maybe adds a little bit of sweetness that you wouldn't get otherwise. You can taste the cheese spread still though. The bacon's really not shining through, but the predominant flavor is still going to be your wheat snack bread pretty much. It starts out dry, but as you chew it, it does gain some moisture. I guess the moisture within the beef starts releasing and mixing in with your condiments. I'm eating it pretty fast, so it must be pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, you don't really need utensils to eat it, so that's kind of convenient. Your condiments are going to kind of get all over the place if you put too many on at one time. I think the better way of doing this would actually be to just put your meat patty on your bread and then have your condiments in the pack like this and just put a little bit on it before you bite. And that gives you more direct access to the condiment itself, plus it saves you from all the mess. I mean, it's not a restaurant burger, but as far as a field burger, goes an MRE burger it's actually pretty dang good take another drink of our drink here I want to see if I can try a little bit of this juice by itself it might be kind of hard to scoop yeah there's some juice in our spoon Let's see what this tastes like it tastes a little bit greasy because it is and a lot of the heat from the jalapeno is actually in this juice so I might actually mop up some of this juice with the remainder of my burger when I eat it by itself like that that'll help the moisture content and import a little bit of that spiciness to it not bad at all I've had much worse MRE entrees than this I've also had better MRE entrees this is pretty middle of the road all right let's check out this cobbler so like I was saying it looks basically like a pie filling. I don't really see any big bready pieces of what would actually be cobbler. So this bite's got a cherry in it, and it's got a blueberry or two in it, and it's got a lot of this thick sort of sauce that it's in. It's very soft. It's actually not overly sweet. I figured it would be. That bite had a little bit of the cobbler bread in it, which added something to it. That was pretty nice. A little bit of a texture difference. It wasn't quite so squishy in the way that just the fruit and the sauce type stuff that's around it is. I think that what you actually should do with this is put some of these peanuts in it. Some walnuts in there too, and there's like one raisin that won't hurt anything. We'll 
stir this around just a little bit. And I think the crunch from the peanut probably made this quite a bit better. All right, so there's really a little bit of everything in this bite. It actually has some of the dough in it, cherry, blueberry, sauce, and then I got a nice bit of peanuts there. It's much better. Those peanuts really make this turn from like lower end mediocre to actually pretty good. As far as MRE desserts go though, I would still prefer like a cake. This isn't bad. All right, so I don't really have anything else to do but to finish the rest of this up. It's not a bad meal. It's certainly not one of the best meals either though. And that was mini number 19 from 2015, beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack. Thanks so much for watching guys. This has been Ration Rewind, the series in which I'm reposting my old ration reviews from my first YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to help it out with that Google algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to catch all of my future ration content. This is the one-stop shop for MRE related content, old and new, foreign and domestic, military and commercial. We do it all here on Readiness Rations. Be sure to drop me a comment and check out my social links down in the description of this video. And I will be back with a new video for you guys next week. Until then, I will catch you in the next video. See you then. Peace.